So my name is Jan Sukainak. I am doing a PhD in computer science at EPFL. I looked at the faculty members and the kind of research they were doing at that time and they were all doing like great research in their own fields and I was sure that you know if I if I go to EPFL I would be doing cutting-edge research. Cloud computing is becoming more and more important because of the increasing number of portable devices like our mobile phones, tablets, and laptops. So we're connected all the time and more and more people are getting connected. So we need uh, more computing resources and we need to do this in an, uh, in an energy efficient way, in an area efficient way. And at the same time, we need to meet the increasing demand. My research focuses on um, high performance uh, computing and server processors. And the particular aspect that I'm looking at for this particular problem is the is a performance gap between the uh, fast processors and the slower memory hierarchies. Uh, one problem that I looked at during my PhD was the large uh, code footprints of the complex server applications which cannot be maintained next to the cores in a processor, in a server processor. But luckily what happens in server applications is that because the servers are uh, serving the same types of requests over and over again to the users, like you know, web search requests at, at Google. So the, the code footprints of these requests are quite similar across, across many users. And my approach to solve this large code footprint problem was to uh, record the code paths that are taken by a particular user request and use that history from the previous user uh, to predict the code path of the, of the next user that is using the same application so that we can bring the code next to the core uh, in advance so that the processor doesn't have to wait for that code footprint or uh, code uh, to come from the uh, lower, lower levels of the memory hierarchy, which are slower. And I think living in Lausanne is a great experience because of the really nice nature. So we have the Lake Geneva and, you know, the surrounding area is beautiful. There are the Swiss Alps, French Alps. So you can go uh, skiing during winter whenever you want in just a couple of hours by, by train. I think it's a really great opportunity to live in Switzerland.